Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to get great audio quality when working remotely or when working from home using the UR12 Podcast Starter Pack. After the end of this video you will know how to sound crystal clear on your meetings, presentations and video calls. I'm going to show you how to set everything up for the most popular applications like Zoom, Microsoft Teams and Google Meet. First let me show you the things that we have included in the UR12 podcast starter pack. To begin with, we have the UR12 audio interface itself. This is where everything is going to happen. We have a microphone input and we also have a high Z input, which means if we want, we can even plug in a guitar or bass and we can jam. The other thing that we have is a headphone preamp with volume control, which means that we can listen to the other people in the meeting using a high quality headphone preamp. Then we have the next star of the show, which is the Steinberg STM01 studio grade condenser microphone. This microphone will give us a really amazing sound when we go live on Teams, on Zoom or on Google Meet. We have a microphone stand and a very important thing, the pop filter. Now this is very important because this filter will prevent sounds like P's and T's going through when you speak and making the experience for anyone listening to you unpleasant. So I would totally suggest that you use the pop filter because it will make your sound better. And of course we have all the cables that we need to connect all these things up. So the microphone cable and the USB cable. So now let me show you how we set it all up so that we're ready to go for any application that we want to use. First of all, I'm going to set up the microphone the way I want to so that I'm comfortable. And then of course, I'm going to connect it to my microphone input on the UR12 audio interface. Now, the next thing you have to do is turn on phantom power on the UR12. This is a condenser microphone, so we need to power it. So there's a switch in the back, we turn it on, you will see the 48 volt LED light come on and that means we're good to go. So the next thing I wanna do is I want to plug in my headphones into the headphone preamp and then I'm going to start getting my levels. So as you can see, we have a gain control right here so I can just start talking into the microphone with my normal voice and I want to make sure that I get my level so that I see this peak LED light come on and once it comes on, I'm going to back it off a little bit. This means that we have the optimal level for our voice when we go live on Zoom, on Teams, on Google Meet. Now, once you do this, you can choose either to keep your voice on your headphones or just listen to the sound of the people that are in your meeting. This you can do by pressing the direct monitor control. If you have it off, that means that you will only be able to hear the people in your meeting. If you have it on, you will also be able to hear yourself. And that's pretty much the setup. You can literally set it up in a couple of minutes and you're gonna be good to go. Now, let me show you how we can choose the UR12 audio interface to be the source for our voice when we are doing presentations, when we are doing meetings. Let's start with Zoom. So let me show you how we can set everything up. When you are inside Zoom, you go to this cogwheel here and here we have our settings and then we move on to our audio tab. Now right here is where we can select our UR12 audio interface to be our microphone and our speaker. The first thing we need to set up is of course the speaker so we can hear everyone else in the meeting. This is very easy to do. As you can see right here, we have by default the audio interface on our laptop, on our computer, and in my case, it's the MacBook Pro speakers. Now we need to change that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on this drop down menu and select your 12. Now once I do this, everything that comes out of Zoom, the other people that are talking, everything else is gonna come through the headphone preamps right here in the front of the UR12. So I'm going to get a very, very good sound and I will be able to hear everyone clearly. The next thing we need to do is go to our microphone and here is where we're also going to select the UR12 interface to be the source for my voice. So as you can see, now I'm talking through the STM01 microphone and you can see that the levels are healthy. I'm in the green area, which means we're perfect when it comes to levels. 
Now, Zoom has some more options. I would suggest that you use low suppression for background noise. Usually when you use a setup like this, you don't have any problems for background noise unless you're in a very, very noisy environment. The next thing we need to do is make sure that we have these options on. So echo cancellation, again, that's not gonna be a problem most likely. You can just leave it off if you don't want to use this. Stereo audio is a good idea to have it on, especially if you're planning to play any music on your presentation. High fidelity music mode, again, is very important if you're planning to do any sort of workshop that includes music, but just keep in mind that this needs a very good internet connection. Now, if you want the people in your meeting to be able to hear the music that you play on your system for any given reason, this is very easy to do with the UR12 audio interface. You just need to open the Yamaha Steinberg USB driver application and enable loopback. Just make sure that the UR12 is set up as the audio interface for your operating system and then you'll be good to go. On the Mac, for example, I can just go to my sound options and make sure that instead of MacBook Pro speakers, I have the Steinberg UR12 set up as my audio interface. So this is the setup with Zoom. Now let's jump into another very popular application, which is Microsoft Teams. So the setup with Microsoft Teams is very similar, very easy. We just go to Microsoft Teams, go to Preferences, and this time we need to go to devices, okay? So we click on devices and here we can select a customized setup. Now, what I need to do is make sure that my speaker is on Steinberg UR12, very similar to Zoom. And then for my microphone, we also select the Steinberg UR12. So this way I'm going to be able to get the good sound from this condenser microphone instead of using the built-in microphone on my laptop, which quite frankly, doesn't sound very good. Now for the noise suppression, you can leave it on auto, but if you're in a quiet environment with this microphone, you can get away with low or even off. And again, if you're planning to play any music and you want really high fidelity, you can turn on high fidelity music mode on. Now let me show you Google Meet. I started a meeting right now and I'm going to set up my sound so that we get the good sound out of the microphone and the UR12. So all I need to do is go to these three dots here go to settings, audio, and we do exactly the same thing. Instead of MacBook Pro microphone, I'm going to select the UR12. And for speakers, it's going to select the system default speaker device. This means that you have to set up the UR12 as the audio interface for your operating system, whether you're on Mac or PC. And that's pretty much it. So there you go. This is how you can make sure you always sound your best on your presentations, meetings, and video calls with the UR12 Podcast Starter Pack. I hope you enjoyed this and you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and have fun.